Remember way, way back in the olden times of 2020 when Democrats were rioting across the country based on misinformation that they heard from Democrat state media? Part of those riots involved Democrat mobs actually attacking the White House with the express goal of physically getting Trump and removing him. Some reports say that they planned on even lynching him. Andy No, a well-known independent journalist who covers BLM and Antifa political violence that the so-called mainstream media purposely doesn't report on, posted a series of videos showing these rioters attacking police officers and Secret Service agents in an attempt to gain access to the White House. And I wanted to share these posts with all of you because it just goes to show how the media is exaggerating what happened on January 6th and using it as a political weapon because they know that they're going to lose in the coming midterms. And as usual, they're applying their contradictory standards to their political opponents. Oh, and by the way, the time to prepare for bad times is during good times. If you know a big storm is coming, you prepare in advance. The same goes for our nation's future. That's why I recommend stocking up on emergency food from My Patriot Supply. And right now, you can save $50 on a four-week emergency food kit. This kit provides breakfast, lunch, dinner, drinks, and snacks, totaling over 2,000 calories a day. Every family in America should have one of these. So go to preparewithdronetech.com and save $50 on your four-week food kit. Flashback. In May 2020, mobs of fat left rioters tried to storm the White House. They were repelled by police who were assaulted and hit with projectiles. You can see them being thrown right there. Democrats and leftists condemned law enforcement at the time for stopping the rioters. And he's absolutely right here, and I've talked about it a lot on this channel. You'll remember that after this happened, the scandal in the media was that the police and the Secret Service used tear gas against the rioters, claiming that they had only used the tear gas so that Trump could have a photo op. Unsurprisingly, that turned out to be fake news, another hit and run by the drive-by media. And they mocked Trump for being moved to the bunker, which is insane because they did that because there was an actual threat that they could breach the White House. Also notice that even though these people are actively attacking the White White House with the goal of physically getting Donald Trump, the media still calls it a protest. Not an insurrection, not a riot, not a domestic terrorist attack. Can you even imagine how they would react if that was Trump supporters? Oh, pff, oh wait, we know exactly how they would react. This is why it's so laughable to hear these people memorializing the Capitol Police because some of them were injured fighting with Trump supporters. But years worth of Democrat riots that led to over 2,000 police injured is mostly peaceful. At night, the far left rioters surrounded the White House and tried tearing apart the protective barrier so they could storm the building. Secret Service and law enforcement were injured by the violent extremists. I'm sorry, someone's gonna have to help me here. What the hell did George Floyd have to do with Trump or the White House? Absolutely nothing. It's pretty clear that the Democrats and their state media use that incident as a political weapon because Trump supporters and Republicans are known as big supporters of the police and the police were enemy number one to the Democrats and their media, which again makes this whole memorializing of the Capitol Police very suspect. The far left rioters tore apart the barrier outside the White House piece by piece in an attempt to storm the building and burn it down. Down. Many in the mob called for the president to be lynched. Our times, it seems like the protesters have gotten the upper hand a couple of times. They've been able to rip away parts of the barricade and kind of pull them away and just toss them. And then the police will go and uh, bring another part of it and try to reinforce. And when they do that, uh, the protesters confront them. They throw things at them, uh, and the police try to hold their ground. It has been a very Intense push and pull. A Secret Service officer suffered a head injury after being assaulted by BLM and far left rioters trying to storm the White House. Dozens of Secret Service agents were injured as well. I interrupt you real quick. It appears as though at least a couple yeah. of Secret Service officers, one of them just got hurt. You can see him walking back there clutching his head. Um, and we don't know whether that was bricks or firecrackers or what happened. We weren't mm -hmm. able to see what happened. He's not one of the ones wearing the riot shields, but. Uh, 
as this gets later into the evening. In addition to tearing apart the barriers outside the White House and assaulting Secret Service and law enforcement, the far-left rioters carried out an arson attack. They wanted to storm the building in an uprising against the president. I want to show you all this video as well from the girl on fire. You can see her Twitter address right there, so go check her out. But I had never even heard of this myself. She says, what he's saying is not even true, referring to a poster who has now deleted their tweet, so I'm not sure what they said. But these are BLM protesters last summer in D.C. breaching the U.S. Treasury building and destroying property. No D.C. police in sight, and none of them got arrested. Which isn't surprising to me, because if you actually look into these riots over uh, the 20, summer of 2020, you're going to find that almost none of these people were prosecuted, and the Democrats were actively out there bailing these people out. <laughs> If you present these videos to left-wingers or Democrats, almost always they're going to rationalize it as different when they do it somehow. And what you're going to hear in this case is, oh, well, they weren't trying to stop a congressional process. They were they were trying to stop the election process, and so that makes it way worse. Hmm, stopping a congressional process, well, would that be anything like trying to stop the confirmation of a Supreme Court justice? <laughs> A, a good judge never bases decisions on his. And and I'm not even going to get into all the left-wing groups who have actually bombed the Capitol multiple times. And by the way, these people eventually were pardoned by Democrats. Some of them even ended up working in Democrat administrations. I know most of the people watching me right now, you guys know better, but share these videos with people that you know that might think that January 6th was much more than it actually was. The fact of the matter is, left-wing political violence has been a problem in this country going back almost 70 years. All right, that's all I have for this one. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, please share it, hit that like button, and then and leave me a comment on your way out.